What's up Gunpla Modelers, this is Jim and today we're going to be looking at the unboxing of the Gundam Mark II Titans version. Uh, it's actually the prototype mobile suit RX-178. Uh, as you can tell, very nice real grade front art with the uh, CGI the kit right here and the actual kit right here. Go along the side, nice little shot again inner frame that you build up, cockpit, moving parts, and I really like how the blue looks on here. And here's how it looks unpainted with all the extra add-ons to make it a test type. On the other side, you just get action poses of how it looks, you can kneel down really nicely, you can hold all its weapons, and this part you can see that you can put all the test type on there and here's each individual or showing off all the different features and there is some mesh piping with this that you can put on here to give it a little extra detail and ammo packs as well and this runs for 2500 yen and as we unbox this First plate we see is actually nice yellow and black here. Like the weapons and frame parts looks really nice. Then we get on to the D1 plate, which is all like a dark blue, probably like navy blue. It looks darker on, than it is on camera. It looks really nice. And then we get to the infamous advanced joint frame really nice looking also has little pistons on here interesting how that looks and on the other side here it's actually the uh, main frame little character there and you get clear green red and black again Gray parts for the uh, F plate with a uh, darker blue uh, D plate. Looks really nice. Looks like parts for the inner frame here and shields. A very dark blue here for the G plate and gray again for the inner frame. And another dark blue for the uh, G plate, and we get another light gray for the E1 plate. And we get to the bottom here, we have the manual. As so we put all this back, I'll get to the manual. Alright. Oh, I forgot to mention right here. Along the side of the box, you get the master grade version here. Shows off the perfect grade as well. Gunpla. And then you got the high grade here. And then your BB Senshi. Which I don't have any interest in. Alright, getting with the manual here. Pretty standard real grade size. Uh, Looks like it shows you all the parts here on this one page and pretty much start off with the inner frame it looks like. You know, the arms, legs, tells you how to cut things carefully. And you start off with building the movable frame first. Start with the ankles and legs, the waist, arms, and then the body and it's all set. And then you start building above or onto the uh, frame of the armor. Then you get a little color splash part here, which is more poses and whatnot. And you just keep building up, it seems. Looks really nice. Build up, build up the head, and build the backpack as well. And you get back here, 
shows all the little features you can do with it. Huh, that's something new I never noticed. Uh, here, I'll show you. It looks like here there's a lockable uh, waste unit. Hmm, I'll have to check that out. You also get the normal opening cockpit. And we get on to the weapons. It's building the beam rifle first, which is like only a few parts. Then the hyper bazooka, and then Vulcan pod, and then the shield. Then you build the hands last, it looks like. And on the very back page, you get all the decals. That's gonna be fun. And I'm definitely going to be giving this guy the number one. Because he looks pretty badass. And as you saw with the uh, base jabber, I'm actually going to be putting this guy on the base jabber. So he looks like he's flying around with a bazooka ready to attack and whatnot. Alright, well, that's it for my review. Or my unboxing, I'm sorry. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want me to do a review of this, just let me know. And, or if you want me to show you what it looks like on there, please let me know. Uh, I'm more than welcome to show you guys any of my kits, even if you want to see how they came out. Uh, what I've done to them, all that fun stuff. Uh, you probably already saw my H1 kit being built, so you don't need to see that. Only other kit I cannot do is the Victory Gundam, as that one has gone to greener pastures. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I shall catch you guys next time. Have a good day.